Um, so you also have amalgam separators we do. that are suction unit device. What would you, how, how do you describe that? Sure. So about a year ago, we went to a trade show, um, OSEP, mm -hmm. it was, and uh, one of the gentlemen came up with a product that we looked at, we studied, we did some research. Um, we looked at the category of amalgam separators. And for those who are probably aware by now, every dental office in the U.S., with a few exceptions, needs an amalgam separator by July. Mm -hmm. And it's been a three-year crawl process where people are kicking and screaming because People don't want to do it, A. Um, B, it's, you know, we're trying, they're adding something that's going to cost them money. It's going to require maintenance. And then C, it's kind of nasty. So um, yeah. we jumped into this category because it fit really well. The company that we acquired is called Capdol. And Capdol mm -hmm. is a chair side amalgam separator. So traditional amalgam separators are in the back room. So take our last conversation. All that suction goes flowing in to the amalgam separator, whether it's saliva ejector, HVE, and all that stuff, including blood, saliva, debris, and yeah. amalgam go yeah. into a separator and eventually the amalgam settles and it captures it over time. Um, traditional amalgam separators collect every six months, you gotta change it, sometimes they're a year, sometimes it's two years. Capdol has a new approach. And we think amalgam's dangerous. We think it's nasty. We don't want it in the chair lines. So they're individually wrapped. They fit into any HVE. I'll show it on our HVE. It's mm -hmm. designed to be used on a patient, not another patient. So one per, one per patient. This will collect 95.4% of amalgam when removed using an HVE. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once it's full or once your procedure is done, you recycle it. Okay, so it goes immediately from here, never gets into my line, never gets into my chair side trap, which right. if you look at all the studies, 68% of amalgam goes to the chair side trap. It never makes its way to the amalgam separator. That gets mm -hmm. the remaining 30 plus percent. So mm -hmm. the new rules and regulations specifically tell you, collect your amalgam from the separator, go back into each room, clean go out every trap. chair side trap. Here, we alleviate the okay. problem. Yeah, so we don't need installation. Mm -hmm. um, it's seven dollars a straw. It's sold in a box like this. Comes with the recycling. Everything is included, but it's really about um, complying to the new EPA requirement safely. We think there's nothing safer than this right here because it never gets into any of those places where it's going to sit, and then it eventually turns into a gas. Which you know that's the big scare: amalgam, mercury turns into a gas sitting next to the patient. What does that mean when a patient has a chair side trap full of amalgam sitting next to them and it's been there mm -hmm. for weeks? So that's the big fear. And uh, we think Capdol is a nice fit. Nice. And yeah, and let's clarify recycling and the proper amalgam waste receptor, not your recycling bin, y'all. Like, don't be putting it in the blue bins in your office. No, no. There's it a comes with a special so. place. And that's good. That's <laughs> great. There's, yeah. there's some people that were like, oh, I recycled it. I'm like, no, no. Yeah, no. So it, it comes with a recycling box and it has a plastic liner. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like a milk jug inside. You unscrew it, yeah. put these in, seal them back up, but get it off site immediately. We sell them in smaller packages because the average dentist is doing about 20 yeah. to 30 amalgam removals. And that number keeps drastically reducing every year. So think of a pedo office. They might do one a month, two a month. These yeah. don't expire. doesn't take up any space. And it's compliant. There's a equivalent device um, category that the EPA revisited in 2017. So we fit really nicely in there. We can be sold in, I think it's 47 states. Mm -hmm. There's three that are still using the old amalgam rule. And, um, but the other 47 jumped on board and uh, it's a great little product. It's, um, you know, seven bucks a tip that includes your recycling. It's safer in this day and age. You can't say that enough to the dental office team. And um, you don't have to worry about cleaning out the sludge. Really yeah. Is the, uh, the term that people use on traditional amalgam separators is, you know, blood, 